Yeah, welcome to On The Surf. This is the family. On this channel, we're talking about boat stuff in general, boat life, boat life with kids, how it works with kids on the boat, how it works with dogs on the boat, boat maintenance and boat restoration and boat repairs and basically boat life in general. Please subscribe to the channel, it doesn't cost a thing, it's free, but it helps me out and keeps my motivation going. So please hit that subscribe button, give the videos a thumbs up if you like the content, and if you don't, leave a comment below, and don't forget to turn on that notification bell. So, now all the electric wiring is done, so now I'm gonna show you how I've done it. So this is the starter battery. Here on the poles I only have the voltmeters, common ground to the voltmeters and the same to the house bank. Down here I have a main fuse for the starter and the generator since this is the starter battery. So this one goes to the starter and yeah the starter. This one is a common ground for everything. This one is the main fuse for the house bank. Now the tricky part. Here I have some fuses and here I have some terminals, bus bars. Down here one more bus bar. And as you can see I have two main switches. That means this one is the big one that's run almost everything. It's so we can switch from the house bank to the starter and hook them up together. This one I've added. It's I only use the on off function and it's because of this. Here in the top I have those kind of things that I want to always have power on. So let's follow those. So this brown one is from the solar and let's see, ding, ding, ding. this one is to the bilge pump and those, yeah, I always want to have on because, you know, if the bilge, bilge pump doesn't have power, it doesn't do any good. So when I turn everything off, the solar keeps charging the batteries and the bilge pump is still connected and of course everything is fused and that's this bus bar. This bus bar is connected to that small secondary main switch and that's you know those kind of stuff that you maybe want to run in the night when you are sleeping. So it's only two things hooked up to this, it's the fridge and the heater and then everything else is off. Of course once again everything is fused and I all also have a switch on the fridge and a small switch to the heater so I can choose to have only the heater on or only the fridge on but normally I have both on during the night because the fridge I want to run 24 7 and the heater I like to use when we get up in the morning so I have a remote control to the heater here so when we wake up in the morning I can just start the heater to get all the moisture out and let's see over here I have the main switchboard with automatic fuses and that runs basically everything else. So that's that for wiring and I have covers for everything. I've made these myself, just heated and bended some plexiglass. So of course everything is gonna be covered. Now I just gonna clean up the wires and you know I've started zip tie them together nice and good. So it's gonna be quite organized. That's how I've done it. I'm no super expert. So if you want to do this yourself, you take full responsibility about it. This is 
just to show you how I've done it. So let's talk batteries. I have an insane amount of batteries. I have four 135 amp hours battery. That's 540 total, I think, in the house bank. So it lasts quite a long time. And for starter battery, I also have oversized it. So I have one 180 amp hour battery. So everything is oversized. And the only thing left to change is the generator. The original one is 35 amps. That's nowhere near enough. I'm gonna switch that out to at least 150 amp generator, but not right now. Now the main goal is to get this boat in the water. And I'm really sorry for not getting out some videos in a while, but that's because all free time goes to get this boat ready and in the water. So I haven't had time to edit any, any videos, but they are coming up and the soft top is ready. And the gooseneck I'm gonna mount now because right now I am done with the wiring. So now I'm just gonna do a full system check. So, you know, all the lights, uh, bilge pumpers, fridge, heaters and everything else works. But it should, everything is connected, so yeah. Stay tuned, like and subscribe. Share it with your friends. See you next time.